Hey there, I'm Amanda. Some of you may know me as Keto Ginger. Today, I am going to take you guys through a full day of keto eating. What I eat on keto to lose weight and to maintain my weight. This is what a very typical day looks like for me when it comes to food. So it's around 11 o'clock. I've had nothing but black coffee and water so far to this point. Now I'm gonna make myself a cup of collagen coffee and then I'll have lunch in a few hours. I'll show you that too. This is a really easy day for me. I'm at home just working on computer stuff, some photo studio stuff, and trying to slowly sneak Christmas decorations into my house. My husband has a very hard and fast rule that we do not decorate the house for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Needless to say, I absolutely hate this rule, so it's become family tradition for me to slowly sneak stuff out here and there when he's at work. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I love you guys so much, and let's, let's eat. Let's do a full day of keto eating. Here is how I'm gonna take my coffee today. This is my first meal, if you wanna call it that, of the day. I've been drinking black coffee and water all morning, so I've got a cup of black coffee in my most favorite mug at the moment. A scoop of my collagen. It's the chocolate by Preferred Elements. You guys know it's my favorite. And then I also have a tablespoon of half and half. I get asked all the time why I do half and half instead of heavy cream. And the honest answer is I just like the taste and texture better. You can use heavy cream, you can use almond milk, whatever you like in your coffee. I'm just a half and half gal. So I'm gonna blend that up. And then I'm gonna add a couple drops of this flavor extract because I'm feeling Christmassy. Feeling Christmassy. Gonna put up some decorations today, starting here. Last night for dinner, we did roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon in the oven, and then we also did steaks in the air fryer. Now, we definitely prefer a grilled steak, but I am here to tell you, cooking steak in the air fryer is so easy. It comes out so, so, so good. The only thing that's tricky about it is I feel like we have a hard time knowing the exact timing to get the perfect medium steak, but even a medium well comes out so tasty and delicious. So if you haven't tried steak in your air fryer, highly recommend. Now, I had to hide these leftovers from Dan so he didn't rob me of them. Let me show you my portion. It's just a little tiny sirloin and a good size serving of Brussels sprouts with bacon. See your finest Chinese takeout Tupperware container because only the best will do. But I've got my little sirloin and my Brussels sprouts and it's going to be the best lunch ever. You guys, I went full ham Christmas. <laughs> Once I started, I couldn't stop, so I went full ham Christmas. Dan knows he's not mad, he's actually delighted. So much to his chagrin, Thanksgiving fell late this year, so I just went for it. Now, only about half of my stuff is out, uh, but I got it done before we went to pick up the kids from school, so I can't wait to see what they think of it. They are both so pumped on Christmas decorations. The school had like one strand of garland, and every day that they walk in, Levi screams. Dreams, Merry Christmas and it's just like this little piece of garland so I can't wait to see what they think <laughs> pardon the state of my house it's Christmas and chaos but I'm gonna show you guys some of the little just the little things that I did and then I'll show you the kids reaction and then I'll eat dinner <laughs> I love it I swear only like half of my stuff not even is out but they're still gonna be super excited yes I have a tree already. I won this war. They're gonna be so stoked. Dinner is an easy crock pot favorite. I'm doing the Mississippi mud roast, but ours is really just a Mississippi roast because I don't add the packet of gravy that a lot of these recipes do. So I have a big old chuck roast here, a stick of butter, a packet of ranch seasoning. I'm actually using this one right here. It's from Zingaro. It's a really awesome company that does all natural spices and seasoning mix. So no sugar, no fillers, no preservatives. I'm gonna do this in place of a regular ranch packet. And then I also have a 16 ounce jar of banana peppers. I've got my crock pot on low. I'm going to add my chuck roast. Then I'm gonna sprinkle in my ranch seasoning packet. 
add my stick of butter and the entire jar, juice and all, of banana peppers. Lid goes on. This will cook on low from anywhere from six to eight hours. It'll probably be more like seven hours by the time we eat it, but I can't wait. Mm. So somehow the video that I filmed of showing you guys my plated food got deleted. So I'm just gonna insert a photo of what I ate and what my portion size looked like. I know it's a little unconventional, but I have no idea what happened to it. So I did a beautiful bowl of the Mississippi chuck roast. And then I also made my loaded cheesy, not loaded, just my cheesy cauliflower side dish that I make all the time. I'll be sure to link that up above. It's a super easy recipe. Kind of tastes like a hash brown casserole. So if you've never made that I hope that you will. So enjoy this lovely photo of my dinner because I'm stupid. <laughs> Well, that's it that's what I ate today that is very very standard fare for what I eat every single day on keto yes I often eat beef twice a day it is my go-to always makes me feel super full and that cauliflower that I make there's so many different ways that you can mix it up I will be sure to link that up above so you guys can go to it I am going to have some dessert I'm not gonna eat it in front of you guys because I'm not quite there yet I just finished my dinner but the folks at fat snacks sent me a box of of their new brownie bites and they're zero net carb sugar free and they're sweetened with allulose and erythritol which is really awesome five grams of fat a pop and yeah I mean the macros on them are awesome so I'm gonna eat a couple of these with some sugar-free whipped cream and that will be my dessert I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of keto eating don't forget to follow me on Facebook and to join the Keto Ginja Kitchen Facebook group. It's a really amazing supportive group of people in there. And I have to say, if you're ever feeling like you just need someone to understand your way of eating and your lifestyle change, it's the most uplifting group of people. And I'm super proud of all of them. So I hope you'll join us over there. And if you haven't gotten a chance to download the Fat Kid Keto ebook, I hope that you will do that as well. Thank you as always for supporting our family and being here with us. We absolutely love all of you. All of the links to everything that I mentioned, including the video for cauliflower and the link for Fat Kid Keto will be down below. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you really soon.